Hello, my name is Bill Backus. I am the preservationist for the Prince William County Historic Preservation Division. And today I am at the Brentsville Courthouse Historic Center Nature Trail. Uh, on the Nature Trail that goes down the Broad Run, uh, there are some large man-made pits on either side, mainly of the trail closer towards the top of the bluff. And so we're gonna be talking a little bit, bit about the history of these pits. Now, these are fairly large man-made uh, pits. And over the years, there were some uh, debate on some historians about what these pits actually were. And you can see behind me, uh, this is a fairly uh, high bluff, uh, this, this bluff over Broad Run. And so one of the first thoughts was these could potentially be Civil War entrenchments, namely from the Confederate Army when they are in Prince William County in 1861. Uh, before they evacuate Prince William County in, in March of 1862. The, the idea is these are really large pits. You can put a cannon or a couple cannons in and that these are uh, overlooking Broad Run. They're right behind Brentsville. These are Confederate military fortifications to protect the, the town of, of Brentsville, the, the county seat, the capital for Prince William County. Uh, the problem with this thought though is a couple. Uh, the main one is there really aren't a sizable Confederate force stationed in Brentsville throughout the time that the Confederate Army is in Northern Virginia. Uh, there's only one unit that we really have of uh, good uh, historical documentation, the Hampton Legion, who are here for about a month after First Manassas before they go to Occoquan. So there's not a lot of soldiers in the Brentsville area that can do this construction, um, though other fortifications in Virginia during this time period are being worked by enslaved individuals, so that is a possibility. But the uh, the other probably large reason why I don't think these uh, these pits are Confederate earthworks is because they really aren't doing anything. Um, they're on this high bluff protecting Broad Run, but there's no roads uh, anywhere near here. The closest road is to your right, my left, the Brentsville and the Lucasville Road. That's probably about a half mile to three quarters to the mile to the east. Uh, these are way too far to command those roads. And so most Confederate, most Union fortifications during the Civil War are overseeing either railroad beds or roads. And since the railroad doesn't come through Brentsville, the only other transportation aspect is, is the roads. And these are too far to the west to really command the roads uh, to, to Brentsville. And so uh, on top of that, too, Brentsville really isn't that important of a community in 1861, 1862 for the Confederates to defend. Uh, the really important aspect in Prince William County during this time period, for the Confederates at least, uh, is a few miles to the north, Manassas Junction, where the Orange and Alexandria Railroad and the Manassas Gap Railroad combine. That is the most important strategical place in Prince William County during this time period. So even though Brentsville is important to the locals, uh, looking at it as a state basis or a national Confederate basis, Brentsville really isn't important. If Manassas falls, all of Prince William County is probably going to be evacuated pretty fast. So there is no point to create these earthworks here at Brentsville. So I don't think these are earthworks for uh, the, the Confederate Army. Uh, another thought was these could be clay pits uh, for the construction of some of the public buildings uh, in Brentsville in the 1820s when the buildings are being constructed. The problem with this is this soil really isn't conducive to make bricks. Uh, this section that we're on right now, this is called uh, the Nestoria Silty, uh, Nestoria Gravelly Silt Loam. So basically what this means is the, the loam soil just isn't conducive to, to build bricks. To build a brick, you need to have a nice red clay soil this, this gravelly loam just really won't do too well for, um, for bricks. So with that, let's go to one spot so you can actually take a look at these pits pretty well. Well, I am standing in front of one of these man-made pits along the Brentsville Courthouse Historic Center Nature Trail. You can see they're fairly substantial. It, it's a, for this particular instance, it's a, basically a cut in the side of the hill. And what I think this is, is excavation pits for builders to get field stone to construct uh, the foundation for some of these buildings in Brentsville. Uh, one of the reasons why I think this is evidence of this is um, it's really the only logical uh, use for these pits. 
And then also uh, the, the, the gravelly loam generally only extends down to about 18 inches. So after 18 inches, uh, you're down to bedrock or fieldstone. So you don't have to go uh, a whole heck of a uh, far into the ground to actually get access to, to fieldstone. So uh, if you look at some of the public buildings in Brentsville, some of the foundations for some of the private buildings in the town, they all have a foundation of fieldstone. So uh, I believe that the the foundations for the fieldstone are all going to be quarried from Brentsville. It makes sense because you don't want to uh, have to go miles out of your way to get readily accessible fieldstone. You can just come back to this area and pretty easily get it. Um, and this area that we're in right now is not going to be pretty pretty useful for a farmer. Uh, so even if the public lot's not behind, I mean, it is, so it's a, a public park, but even if this was a private farm, this soil is just too poor really to cultivate. Not only are we on a pretty steep slope, but the uh, the soil is just so, so poor that you're not going to be able to grow any uh, grains. And so the only real use that you have for the soil if you are a farmer is for pasture. And as you can see, um, if you cut down to uh, the bedrock, you still have some uh, vegetation growing back up. So uh, you could have some wild animals or roaming domestic animals come over here and subsist. So um, I think this is the foundation pits for most of the buildings in the community of Brentsville.